What you see flashing, good morning by the way, my name is Charles Goodwin. What you see flashing in the center of your screen is what's called a bipolar LED. Bipolar LEDs look just like a regular LED. They have two leads on them, but they flash a different color depending on which direction the current flows. If you reverse the polarity it will be red and reverse it the other way it will be yellow in this case. These, you can get these in several colors, red and green, red and yellow, red and orange, white and some other colors. I have several different ones. These happen to be yellow and red. I'm, but what I'm, what I'm showing you this morning is not the LED. The LEDs are pretty neat and they're a little bit useful if you've got a circuit to drive them or if you, you can buy one LED and hook it up to run two different colors depending on which way you turn it in your circuit. But what I am demonstrating this morning is this little printed circuit board. I found a circuit diagram schematic online to drive these LEDs and alternately between the red, or excuse me, the red and yellow or whatever two colors they are. It uses a 555 timer and some uh, resistors and a capacitor to drive this. Now the original circuit I found had a fixed size resistor on the timing side, so it would only flash at one rate. But I decided I didn't like that. I wanted to be able to change my rate. So instead of a regular single size resistor, I've added a trim pot. This one happens to be 50K ohm trim pot. It'll go from 50K to 0K and zero resistance. And what happens is you adjust the potentiometer. If you lower the resistance on the, on the side, it will flash at a greater, faster rate, and you can go right down to blistering, almost looks like it's staying on. Or you can increase the resistance back up to the 50K, and it flashes much slower. Now, if I had a bigger resistor in here, I could actually slow this down so it would flash, uh, you know, up into the minutes if I wanted to. But I've developed this little printed circuit board and figure out ways to use it for other purposes. Now, this is pretty simple. It flashes one light, two different colors back and forth. But say you want to put up something like a railroad stop sign. You can hook in a regular LED. Ooh, that's, a fly, that's white. White will work. Let's go with red so we know that it looks like it's Railroad crossing light. Those are pretty popular. Okay, railroad crossing light. One side is going to have a red light. Well, the other side has a red light too. And if you put them, if you reverse the polarity on these two lights, you can get alternate flashing lights. And again, you can adjust the speed at which they flash to your desired flashing rate of speed. You can obviously use it just for a single flashing light. Or suppose you wanted to one minute flash red and the other flash, uh, let's say blue. Happened to my why doesn't it? There we go. Now you have a red and a blue flashing light. Or if you just wanted a single blue flashing light. This Now, some other things I found with these, you can play, you can play some pretty nifty games with these, and to get some very different effects. And let's put another red one down there, flashing different.
and put another orange flushing opposite to that one. I've got some bad lights. Now, if we adjust the light, and yeah, we'll do the fanciness here, put these two in the center. Change these around as well. And with your adjustment, you can get some pretty nifty effects. It's all all with the same circuit board. Of course, you can always run just a single flashing light or a pair of flashing lights. But you could do that with a regular LED. You can buy flashing LEDs and if that's all you want you can do that with a resistor and the LED. But if you want them to flash alternately and again adjust the frequency with which they alternate And like I said, I can all, if you need it slower, I can always put a larger resistor in there and slow it down. And again, the 555 timer that works off of pin 2 and pin 6 for your trigger in your uh, reset to take the power up and down. It transfers power in and out of either in through circuit through the terminal three or out through terminal three depending on which way your trigger and timing goes. I thought you might like that. You can get a hold if if you need to talk to me or have any questions or want one of these little boards just get a hold of me at seawolf69 at gmail.com, seawolf69 at gmail.com, and we'll see about getting you one of these. I had a few of them made up to begin with, and they're really pretty slick. They're easy to assemble. I, I assembled this, this one this morning while working with a guy I had doing some work on the house in about 15 minutes. A little soldering skills is all it takes, and obviously you can... I have these terminals, these wires set so I can bring them to this breadboard for demonstration, but in reality use smaller wire and run it anywhere you want to in a train car, on your layout, uh, on your bicycle, however you want to do it. I'm going to go ahead and put back in my
bipolar LEDs to close this video out. If I can get them in the holes. Oh, jumped across my table. I plan on making a nuclear car with one of these in each corner flashing opposite to uh, warn everybody that we have radiation coming. This is a tiny cir this circuit board is about five eighths of an inch wide and a little over an inch long so it will fit in almost any car right on the floor. I plan to seal them in uh, polyester resin so there will be no so it will sit flat on your car bottom and you can glue it in or whatever without messing up the circuits unless you wish to assemble it yourself. Seawolf69 C-W-O-L-F as in Frank, S as in Sam, 69 at gmail.com Thank you.